Ooh. I like the music. Yo, it's Bicaro. Welcome to another video. Um, I definitely did not screw up that intro there. So if I did everything right, which there's a good chance I didn't because I am lazy, but hopefully if everything's recording right and I get off my lazy butt, then happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to murder at the Love Throne 69 Motel. I was looking around for a free Valentine's Day horror game. Okay, excuse all the noise in the background. I apologize for that. There is nothing I can do about the weather. Um, and I couldn't find any except for this one. I don't think I could even find a paid, like one that you have to pay for. But yes, the creator of this game also made a video about the creation of this game, which I did not watch in case there were spoilers. Hello, RPG maker. Every Valentine's Day he strikes, murdering unsuspecting couples in love motels. But I'm on to you, V-Day killer. The only question is where? Oh, the little bubble. Each of the female vi- Blah. Each of the female victims were blonde. The male, on the other hand, does not seem to matter. What makes them special? Trauma. The victim is somebody who was- No. What matters is finding you first. Can't you- find the okay time is limited where will you be there was also a thing this game is made in jest select the city where you believe the valentine's day killer will strike next is it is it one of these oh select the city's location for the murder's next target no i want to no i want to go for this one and i don't know why but i do yes he better be there, otherwise it'll be another year of the 6-9-er Valentine murderer. Detective Hart's office. There's no time to spare. Dang, he fast. Time passes. Seconds turn to minutes, minutes turn to hours, hours turn to the next day. Not much longer, you hear of a couple killed at the Love Throne 6-9 motel. I failed. After six previously failed years, these two couples tallied to nine victims by the V-Day killer. I will detect no more. What? Ben? Oh! <laughs> six years of murder, nine victims total. Not even close. I mean, six, nine, my guy. Okay, so it's, it's not there. I guess we try here. Yeah. I'll put an end to all this. There's no time to spare. Am I gonna? Am I gonna get it wrong again? Damn it! Oh, there was something there. I didn't read it. Whoops. Okay, but I think I got it right this time. Third time's the charm, I guess. And six and nine and sixty-nine divides by three. This is very loud in my ears. <laughs> Ah, hello. Will you be checking in? I'm a detective, and we don't have much time. Tonight, someone's about to be murdered by the Valentine's Day killer. <gasps> in my Love Throne 69 motel? You must tell me everything you know. But of course. Good thing I have this journal with me. I can refer to it when I'm done speaking with the motel owner. Describe the guest's hair color, describe the guest's age, describe how often the guests visit, ask to evacuate everyone, think about the case for hints done with questions okay describe the guest's hair color because that's pretty much all that we know ask about the guest's hair color of which room okay uh, they, they're all six nine okay i'm like which one six nine okay one six nine the siblings um what ha i only kid both blonde but would easily mistake them for twins gross <laughs> An interesting set. The boy was plain and boring with black hair, but the timid girl had an interesting shade of blue that would say otherwise. I'd say innocent on the outside, but a different nature when it comes to making out. Oh yes, I most certainly understand. <laughs> a romance between ladies. One was a ginger wearing glasses and the other with purple hair. They had very contrasting apparel, which makes me wonder what their love life is like. Oh, I most certainly wouldn't mind detecting those. Ew! What was that? <laughs> huh? Oh, just detective thoughts. Red-headed goatee boy who's way out of his league on the blonde. 
She wears her hair over her left shoulder with experience. <laughs> Certainly knows how to catch the young makeout virgins out there. Also wears glasses. Sounds like she wouldn't mind me asking her a couple of questions. Certainly more than just a couple. Okay, so we have these. I don't know about these. Maybe. A rather, okay, a rather bulky and tough fellow with a teal mohawk. The blonde girl also seems to be no stranger to the wild side of making out. The aura she lets out is just downright intimidating. <laughs> Not really my go-to type, but sounds like, f but sounds fitting for a cold and solitary job like my own. My guy. An older moustached gentleman who's gone grey. Not everyone takes out complimentary makeout mags, but... No, no, I've heard enough. Okay, um... Yes, age... It's asked to evacuate everyone. Can we do that? We most certainly can, but do you understand that the couples could be making out? Hmm... You are right. I wouldn't want to ruin any of these pure, virtuous, and guileless human beings out of their burning passion and rageless. They're gonna die! Okay, I mean, might as well describe the rest. Ask about the guest's age. They're in about their 30s, just like me. Hopefully early 30s. Should I intervene? No, you shan't. Oh, young love. They've only recently turned 18 and already experimenting in a love motel. I'd say that they are either brave or loving a secret love. Secret love, huh? <laughs> Those were the times. Okay. A couple of college girls, probably no older than 25. Oh, 25 to- Ew. In relation to other murder cases, but of course. This guy, I don't like our character. The girl's a graduate student and the boy's about 20. There's no doubt in my mind that he was swooped up at a party. Sounds like a rookie up against an experienced kisser. Middle-aged couples looking to experience something different, no doubt. Different how? Different ways to kiss? What else? Yeah, this is a love motel, okay? Thank you very much. A man in his 50s is holding on to his young dreams. I may judge, but I won't deny. All is welcome in the Love Throne 6-9 motel. Even you, detective! <laughs> I appreciate the warm invitation, but I don't think it really fits my style. If you change your mind, there'll be a special discount just for you. Ah, oh, sick, thanks. Okay, how often the guests visit? The two are preaching about how they just got married, married and saved themselves for each other. Though I'm no fool, that boy certainly has been around. <laughs> One other time, four years ago to be exact. Ooh, sounds like a case I might find myself working in the near future. Well then. While the young lady just turned 18 last month, they were awfully nervous, though who wouldn't be at their age? First time nervous, second time confident, something along those lines, right? Love is beautiful, is it not? Both first time here, though the way they looked and were physical with each other would suggest something different about making out. Hmm. Getting pleasure for yeah, uh, for detective purposes, of course. I have to imagine if the killer is interested in these sorts. In in these sorts, I'll have to sit on the idea for longer later on. Hmm. First time for the poor boy, but a frequent come as one would say about the lady. Let me guess: the poor boy is paying for all this. Young boy eager to make out with an older lady, or to make out for their first time? Is it even a question? Though there's much I can say. She certainly gives this place a good weekly business. Well then. First time seeing the two of them here. I'm sure the two wild couples will be back again. Wild is not my style. Yeah, no kidding. You're boring. And weird. Ha! Huh, Olaria has visited here since I opened up five years ago. I cut the price in his stay by half since he's always here looking for some alone time. I better find someone to favor lock lips with and fast. Okay. Think about the case for hints. Gather hints from where? From the hair color. From past cases, the killer has always gone after blonde females. The males have never had any specific features though. However, what about females with dyed hair colors? Could I rule them out? Oh, that is true. Hints from age. In past cases, all but one victim was in their 20s. The only other was in her 30s while dating a younger man. Does age really play a role? I was hoping to hear about a suspicious visitor, or maybe someone who came earlier that have, haven't left. Oh, excuse me. Aside the man coming alone, he seems to be a frequent visitor. Does a person's attendance contribute to this case? 
of others who are more experienced with making art than others. Hmm. Solve the case, you can solve this without me. What? Most killers are born from some sort of self-loathing, especially those with a pattern those with the pattern were their targets. Typically it's through a tragic event or the way they were brought up in life. I imagine the killer had um, bad experiences with a blonde woman. I have to think. Blondes. Why only blondes? Victims are typically young, though some broke this pattern. What? How about length of relationship? Oh, the little dance! Wait, that's it. Yes! <gasps> Wait, that's it! I cannot solve this case by myself. Show me the solution. No, I can solve this on my own. Sure, whatever, done with questions. J to open journal. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's actually go through it. Hair color, both blonde, both in their 30s. Frequently came before, okay, ladies, first time here. So there's a blonde lady in one, in, I'm just gonna say like rooms one to five or seven, how many there are. The girl has blue hair, likely, Likely died. No, you never seen somebody born with blue hair. Okay. So it's possible that her hair was originally blonde, but she could have bleached it. They all could have bleached their hair, actually. One girl is a ginger, the other is purple. Likely died. Frequency, first time here, but supposedly not first timers. That does not bother me at all. Red goatee, blonde college girl. So one, two, and four, it seems. That's say the art of making out. Oh no, the arts. Okay, so one, two, and four. Okay, five as well. <coughs> oh, that's true. The man's probably like 69 or something years old. Apparently loves mags. Yuck, okay, cool. Can I just leave? No, I'm done with questions. Um, okay then. Yes, please. You've got this, heart. Save, yeah. We'll just override. <laughs> Room 269, okay. Oh, so these are all the various rooms. Okay. Yes. Forgive me. Whoa, are you two siblings? What? Ew, no. Jesus, the features are uncanny. What are you doing in here? Right, I'm a... No, it can't be. I was so sure to detect this right. Oh, okay, I'm a failure. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, I need to enter the room that I think it is. Here we are, 15th, next day. Last night I added another two victims to the Valentine's Day killer. Six years, nine dead. I'm a failed detective, and I will detect never again. Oh, that's just him giving up on it. Okay, okay, okay. Game over. The music. Okay. Continue. Okay, okay, okay. Let me look through the notes. Okay, I'm dumb. So we just know it's not 169. Okay, boy has dark black hair, girl has blue hair, likely died. Let me just... Yeah. Detective Hearts. <laughs> Detective Hearts. Oh, God. Uh, what are you doing in my room? Trust me, I didn't want to. Are you seriously here by yourself? Are those magazines? Aren't you like 60? 59? But what I do is my own damn business. Whether I'm 59 or 69, this should not matter. Well, it really should. Scream. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a failure. Failure! It's not the first one, it's not the last one. No, for somebody who loves Professor Layton games so much, I'm really not good at this. So, four... Let me go to four. Maybe... All the women were older than their partners? Bro, I don't know things. Yeah. What the? I didn't think we'd have an extra guest. Though I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind either, right? Otherwise it might get awkward and we'd have to stop making out, which would be a real bum after you paid so much for our room tonight. I don't care who you are, come on here right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn it, and I just still lost. Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. Okay. And the lady at the desk, she had brown hair. Future a bit of the oh my god, future a bit of popping in over here. Um, apparently she is a he. I'm currently watching <laughs> the Odie's video, and um, that's a boy. That's a man. That's a man. Why does this one have like swords above it? Did we already enter the second room? I didn't ask for this, I swear. He didn't, and neither did she. I am Detective Hearts. Sorry to interfere in your two first time making out, but the Valentine's Day killer is here and I and targeting you two as his next victim. I thought he only goes after blondes. Natural blondes. Wigs and hair dye won't stop him. Why us? We're just kids from the high school. Most killers inspire from bad treatment in their past. Though better yet, why don't we just ask him ourselves? I know you're here and I'm going to find you. He's not in there. Judging by this room, he could be hiding under the bed in the closet or the bathroom. I better choose wisely. If I pick the wrong one, he might take it as a chance to escape. I can ask if these two hurdle notes notice anything suspicious. Let me first ask him. Let's just do this. Do you notice anything? All sound side. I suppose smell could be a possible thing too. All I can smell are the candles, but I did hear a noise that sounded like it came from out here a while, while I was in the bathroom. Did the arrow notice more? Where were you while your girlfriend was in the bathroom? Sorry, that was when I went out to get the wine. I see. Is this really all I can gather? These two are my biggest clues. So, not in the bathroom. She would have been dead. I can't tell if that phone was in real life or in the game. Aaron has slept in my closet many times for me to know what it sounds like when a person is inside. In other words, he's in there! <laughs> On your knees, murderer. You may have a knife, but I have a gun. <laughs> wow, good job, Aggie. Valentine's Day killer. It is over. Excuse my voice being weird. Tell me, why did you do it? Why are you murdering people? I want a lawyer. Why does he look like that? God damn it. On the transit to the police station, the- Oh! Flexible bastard. He wore a fake skin with a knife hidden on his belly. I'm surprised to see you back, detective. You played a key role in my detecting. I had to come back to thank you properly. And you did my motel justice. You are welcome here anytime at half the cost. I appreciate the gesture, but this place just isn't my style. Oh my god, I can't believe there was a murderer here the other day. That was so hot, wasn't it? It could not have gotten any hotter. Oh, I bet I can think of a way. What if we experiment? Oh yeah, can he be a bit tough looking with a bit of a nerdy side like the detective who found the murderer here? If he's not older than 35, then I think he could work out totally normal. 32! Yes! <laughs> I suddenly have a case. Case 143. We'll possibly meet again. Ladies, did I hear you were looking for the detective? I should have you know, I am also investigating a case of making out. <laughs> Done and done. Great end. Detecting the Love Throne 6-9 Motel. <laughs> oh, that was just fantastic. <laughs> oh, that was delightful. I don't like the detective still. Yeah, it's been like 23 minutes or so. The average gameplay was about half an hour, I believe. You the viewers, you the players, you the supporters. But of course, this was delightful. Yeah, YouTube the Odie, check out how I made the game sometime. Well then, that was Murder at the Love Throne 69 Hotel. Thank you very much for watching and uh, happy Valentine's Day to all of you.
what's this? Okay, apparently we don't know. 